What type of home ownership uh, do you have? Are you a renter or an owner? Okay. Uh, the type of structure, single family, detached, multi-unit, townhome, multi-unit, condo, apartment? Single family, detached. Okay. Um, the date you approximately moved in? Uh, 2009. Okay. So have you always lived in... Um, Housing County slash Hawkinsville. I'm, I'm retired now, Oh, okay. So where you where have you um, lived? All over the world. All over, huh? Yeah. Like um, Earth is my playground. <laughs> <laughs> so where you, like you've been overseas too as well? Oh, okay. Yeah. What parts? Uh, you can just name a few. I'm sure US, everywhere. Yeah, a little bit everywhere. Pacific. I've been in Japan. Been to Korea. Been to. Actually, I actually walked across the line at really? DMZ, so I've been in North Korea, technically. Nice. <laughs> Germany. Okay. Uh, uh, never been to like France or yeah. England. Uh, been to Spain. Oh, nice. And then what about the states? Portugal, Where have you lived in in the states? Um, Ohio, New Jersey, North Carolina, South Carolina. Okay. Um, Texas. Nice. <laughs> what branch are you? Air Force, retired Air Force. Oh, awesome. So you putting all that down there? Yep. Yeah. I just like to ask, you know. <laughs> Egypt, Africa. Oh, you've been a lot of wow. places. That's okay. Diverse. I do think that's what would be fun about the military is yeah. you get to yeah. go. Yeah. Honduras, Portugal. Nice, nice. I've actually been to Iceland. Really? That was I bet that was. I bet that was really nice. It was. Man. So, what made you retire in Georgia? Um, the last place I worked. Oh, you was at Robbins. What did you What did you do in the military? I was logistics. Oh, logistics, nice. That's one of my first. Okay. All right. Oh, nice. That. Okay. <laughs> I'm a logistician by trade. Oh, nice. This is really awesome. This is good information. I just found out about you, Miss Stroop. So, <laughs> so let's see. Do you have a rooftop solar for your home? No. Okay. So tell me why you do not have the rooftop solar. Because I don't want one. <laughs> no, let me get this. Um, hey, that's a good answer. <laughs> well, they are expensive. The last time I checked, they were expensive, okay. but I have checked. Okay. Um, I am interested, or at least mm -hmm. consider it. Um, solar is, um, you know, renewable energy. I'm highly in favor of renewable energy and conservation of, of the earth. It is a finite resource. You know, hopefully there's lots of years to go before we <laughs> can some mother earth. Nice. But it's, it's, you know, it, and it is, you know, it is part of our responsibility as stewards of the world to to do our best to, to do our little small part. But it's a collective effort. You know, one person can't do it, one nation can't do it, but with a world effort, we can make a difference. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay. So if you had the option, would you put a rooftop solar on your home? Yes. I mean, depending, you know, Anything I do, there's 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 the feasibility consideration. Typically, mm -hmm. that means mm -hmm. uh, the financial consideration. Okay. So if it was affordable uh -huh. and it made sense, and otherwise it does to me, if it was affordable, it seems that it would make sense. Oh, okay. So how long has it been since you looked into it? Probably about three years, two to three years. I haven't done it in the last couple of years, but early on I was looking at it. Um, I spent a lot in electricity for my pond. Mm -hmm. uh, my pond uh, just to run my well mm -hmm. and uh, keep my pond level. Like, like I run my well for my goats mm -hmm. and for irrigation, but mm -hmm. a big portion of that is keeping a pond, a couple of ponds full. Mm -hmm. And um, on a bad month, that can be as much as five, over five hundred dollars, just for the pond. And so I also have the electricity. I have a separate um, bill for my well. And then I also had to pay for the electricity from home. But sometimes I mean in excess of six hundred dollars just for electricity in a given month. So 
What would you estimate like you pay electricity wise per month? Probably four and a half fifty on an average because it can go down as low as three you know in the mid threes mm -hmm. but typically it doesn't go lower than that because like my house might function on 100 say 120 dollars a month at right. times but then the well if i run it at all um it's probably um about 10 off about 10 to 12 hours a day mm -hmm. depending okay who is your uh, energy company to flint flint oh flint yeah. goes that far out okay Oh, okay. Hmm. If you got a cheaper source of electricity. <laughs> I wish we did. <laughs> I'm, re I'm ready. I know it. Um, so, I'd like to talk about uh, rooftop solar adoption just in general. So, here is a map of the United States. And so, if you had to... You know, where do you think people have the most rooftop solar energy in their homes? I had to guess. Yeah, you can draw it on the map too with your pen. Draw a color right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can check all the states too. <laughs> well, uh, I'm from New Jersey mm -hmm. originally. Right. And I think the East Coast is doing a lot with solar. Okay. You can get a market on this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. All right. Anywhere else you can think you might have it as well? Um, you can mark it on the map if you think of something. I don't think it's as popular here in Georgia, but that would it'd be nice if it made it. I just don't know. Mm -hmm. um, I would think out west, California would be another big area that I think they would do solar. Okay. Just because of the. <laughs> there are no right or wrong answers. Right. Right. There's no right or so wrong answers. East Coast, West Coast. There you go. Okay. All right. So let's talk about the state of Georgia, where we all reside in. All right. So where do you think um, people have the most uh, rooftop solar in their homes? In the state Georgia. of Georgia. Yes, sir. Can you just mark it with your pen where you think they have it? I would think it. Why do you think the people in the metro Atlanta area would have it versus house to ground? Not necessarily metro Atlanta, as as more just the whole yeah. area as a whole. Yeah, area as a whole. I don't think like especially in inner city, I don't think it would uh, it would be affordable, and mm -hmm. so you wouldn't get it there. But in the folks that could afford it, I would think that so like in the suburb areas. Suburban, suburban Atlanta. Yeah. Okay. My thought. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Freaking idea, but that ain't the answer you want. You know what I'm gonna say? No freaking idea. No, it's okay. It's right. no right or wrong right answers, like right. you said. It's just what you, you think your opinion is. Okay, that's awesome. Right. So that's better than no freaking idea, right? There you go. <laughs> so, what about most of your, you know, close friends in the state of Georgia? Do they have solar on their rooftops? I don't know a single person mm -hmm. in Georgia or in Georgia. Anywhere? Or even from where you're from, Jersey, New Jersey. I knew a couple of people. Jersey, they yeah. did. Well, they weren't they weren't friends, quote unquote, or relatives, quote unquote, but they were um, like uh, associates or, mm -hmm. or acquaintances. acquaintances. Yeah, oh. I knew I knew a few people that had them. Matter of fact, one of which who who kind of was talking me into it, oh. and um, and it made a lot of sense because he. He was actually one of the folks that worked for me, but he um, he had did it such that he had excess power in some kind of way. He sold it back to the grid or the electric company. I didn't quite understand it, but you know it was like it made sense money wise for him. I mean, it actually paid for itself. So I don't know how he did that, but he was making money from it as opposed to it just costing him money to put in all the. Oh, okay. He was literally getting a paycheck back from the electric company or something. Wow. Okay. <laughs> hey. Hey, I've been learning something new as y'all were talking about. You haven't heard that before? Uh-uh. Yeah. No. Oh, 